Hello, I'm John Hyde from Chiliquin, Oregon. We have a family-owned working cattle ranch and fly fishing resort. Growing up on Yamsey, we're completely off the grid, no television, so we all had different hobbies. I started out with leather work, eventually it evolved into this silversmithing. I love to fly fish. It's silversmithing is an art that I can do in the winter when I'm not fly fishing. Trying to combine the two, I'm building a real seat here for a bamboo fly rod. Today the silversmithing is not just a hobby, it's turned into quite a business. Yamsey's located on the headwaters of the Williamson River. It's all spring fed. The water comes out of the springs at 42 degrees. This part of the river doesn't flood, so the early spring fishing's good. All through the summer, the temperatures are real consistent. The September, October hatches is the mahogany dun, October caddis, fall caddis. Some really good dry fly fishing, good nymph fishing. It's just a great time to fish. The mahogany dun hatch is a great hatch. We're getting tremendous clouds of bugs on the water. The October weather's prime for it. We're getting lots of bugs hatching, lots of feeding fish. I personally, I enjoy dry fly fishing. A lot of times a dead drifted dry fly that everybody tries to get the perfect drift doesn't work on this river. You gotta twitch your fly a little bit. And at the end of the drift, I like to sink it and strip it back and catch a lot of nice fish doing that. Kind of acts more like an emerger as soon as it dives and takes off. So it's very effective, but it's something that people really don't know how to do when they come to this river. Our nymph fishing techniques are a little different. We don't do a lot of dead drift. Most of it's on a retrieve. The water's clear. A lot of times you can see these fish come and take your nymphs. During the bright sun, you see these big rainbows out there cruising the flats. It can be like bone fishing, trying to get a good cast to them, not spook them. Watch them turn and come racing across the river and taking your Nymphs. So the nymphs and streamer fishing, I think, is a lot of fun. Got all my check engine lights and all that. Flat tire. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> Froze! Slow moving, very quiet water. The fish are very spooky. They can see you. It's very important that you sneak, crawl, stay back from the bank, hide in the grass, make good presentations, and any type of loud noises will scare the fish all around you. I like to use 15 foot liters down to 5X. A lot of people don't like fluorocarbon because it sinks. I love it for that reason. It sinks below that film. It's less visible and I can sink my fly at the end of the drift real well with it. The 
bugs in this water were either skating on the surface or they're swimming under the surface with a lot of movement. The fish really like to eat live bugs. If it's dead floating down the water, they don't seem to like it. They like the movement. That's why a little twitch, stripping your nymphs or just sinking your dry fly and stripping it back underneath the surface will key those fish on a strike. Both brookies and rainbows like the movement. Rainbows maybe not as much movement. Brookies like a lot of motion. Tom grew up, he started fly fishing when he was five years old. He's just a tremendous fly fisherman, beautiful caster, um, fishes quite a bit, loves to hunt, seems to always be giving me a bad time about something, stealing my flies and about everything else I leave lying around. My guide's not broke. Which frog is that? The one with the caddis on it? Yeah. <laughs> Sitting there drinking With coffee. Crying, follow me to tall grass. We could walk for hours. Hide me on the side. Maybe we won't make our way back home. grass calls I am here
I love to fly fish because fly fishing takes you to some of the most beautiful places on the world. Catching fish is a highlight, but not so important as being on the water and, and just throwing a fly to some beautiful fish. Tall grass calls, but I am here alone.